Hey everybody, Godzilla419 here. It's happened. Yes, Comic Con came, and it delivered. Um, we're apparently at 3.09 uh, at Comic Con, which for me that was 5.09. Legendary Pictures gave us a teaser trailer. Yeah, and I'm going to read from a couple of websites what I've heard, and also, while I'm doing that, I'm going to put up this wonderful poster. So anyway, I'm going to be reading here from shocktillyoudrop.com. They had a live blogging uh, during the panel. 309. We just got a Godzilla trailer. Oh shit. The footage pans across a city that has been utterly destroyed. We hear a voice over the radio talking about the end of the world. It looks like another giant creature's body is in the wreckage. We hear the classic Godzilla screams. From the smoke, we see something enormous. We're following a camera up Godzilla's back, showing his scales. We see his face, but it's almost a silhouette. It looks a lot like the classic Godzilla being uh, designed, but with a slightly fatter face. Gareth Edwards has taken the stage. He says that he doesn't think of it as, uh, as a sci-fi movie because it's very, very real. Like the original, this isn't going to be for camp or on any level. They make it sound like this trailer won't be going online anytime soon. Gareth says he's never... Edward says he's never been this emotionally involved in work on something this long since he lost his virginity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently, Edwards does have a really great sense of humor. This. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over to the only screenshot I can find for you know from the trailer. Okay, and while I go over here, I'm, this is from Yahoo News or Yahoo.com, and. Apparently the brief clip showed crumbling buildings, a flattened train, and human bodies flattened like bugs, then a glimpse of a massive multi-limbed monster, then clip closed with Godzilla's threatening roar. And then Edwards took the stage, and he want, Edwards wanted to see this movie his whole life. He said, there's nothing sci-fi about this movie. It's very all very real, down to earth. Okay, that's uh, Yahoo's little take on everything and then we have from dreadcentral.com we're going to read their little description from the <clears throat> excuse me from the trailer a city decimated completely destroyed the cameras pan pans by the wreckage of the train a distant voice is heard reading from the book of revelation the voice sounds very familiar Dust everywhere, cars crushed, holes in a skyscraper. It becomes obvious that the voice belongs to Raymond Burr from the original. We then see a giant centipede-like creature with many arms and legs smoldering. You know what that means. Monster battles. The city appears dead as a doornail. Then blackness. The roar. As in THE roar. Huge bass drop. Raymond Burr finishes his famous speech. Dust. Then an arm. A hand. With claws. Pan up. Holy shit. The fins. The head. Godzilla. As we know him. The real fucking Godzilla. He roars again. Fade to Godzilla with red Japanese title behind it. I wanted to do Godzilla as if it really happened. How people should really deal with, with this kind of disaster, says director Gareth Edwards. Bless his heart. So yeah. Uh, Max Bronstein has been taking over writing for um, David Goyer. And Edwards really looks like he's doing a, a great job with this film. And just um, something I want to say really quick. Uh, I'm going to bring up that poster again. I, um, people are saying that the film, they think it's going to be called Just Godzilla. And at first glance, I would agree with that. But I also would have to say that it might be called and um, be officially known as Legendary Godzilla, just be, and not just because you know, I know I realize that that legendary logo right above the word Godzilla might just be there, and I might just be reading something into it that I, you know, just want to. But I think that calling it Legendary Godzilla 
would be a lot better because that would help distinguish it away from the 98 TriStar film. But then again, that's just me. Anyway, I uh, do want to do some quick little thank yous to all the guys who've been sending me info all day. Um, and Angelo three two one Luna, thank you very much for you know sending me all that in the info that you have. Jacob Kaiju, dude, you're awesome, sending me a whole lot. And Anto Vlad two zero, dude, you're you're freaking awesome too. And Gal Galavant one two three four five. Yeah, you sent me a whole lot too. Um, and I just, I just can't say thank you enough for you guys, to you guys, for all the help that you've been to me in getting me this information. I'm gonna be looking for a trailer online, and hopefully I'll find it and we can show it to you soon. But unfortunately, I think they might be keeping that under wraps. So I think that's about everything for today. Yeah. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm really glad that this film looks like it's going to be the movie that we've all been wanting it to be, not some campy, you know, 70s Godzilla ripoff thing that's relying on its camp value, but something real and hardcore that's definitely going to draw in a lot more of a variety of people. Anyway, again, thanks for watching everybody. Please remember to rate, comment, share, subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.